All right, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be working on a 2000 Durango. The water pump crapped out on us. Um, so let's get started on that. All right. Um, so we're going to show you real quick uh, it leaking. It's going to be pretty obvious. Yeah. It's hard. Yeah, it starts to come off the side. It's more spraying over here. Um, if you look over there on the concrete, you'll see it's starting to... Right there, it's starting to actually throw water out. Yeah. So. Alright. Um, so, we lost a little bit of footage. Yeah, whatever. Um, I'm not going to put that fan back on, but I'll show you how I got it off. Um, down here on this pulley, there's a hole. Can you see that? Yeah. That you can shove through and catch that fin back there. And then you can put the wrench on the uh, fan clutch and get it off. Um, they do sell a specialty tool, whatnot. You know, you have a screwdriver, so that's what I use. Um, now we're going to get to... In, oh, yeah, that's what we were doing. Uh, i got to drop the coolant. All right. Um, so we've got that draining. Those things are a pain to get off. Uh, Dodge has a bad design. It's like a fat, fat piece of plastic. You got to turn and pull at the same time. Half the time I don't want to come out, so fought that for a few minutes. But I don't need to show that. It's too hard to see down there anyway. So I'm just going to take these wire pump bolts off now. If they uh, decide to play a little nicer, that one did. I don't have a deep enough socket out here, so that one's got a stud on it for some reason. It's also a stud in the front, I don't honestly know what it goes to. It'll be alright. Come on. So these, sometimes if you can get by, you can just put the socket on there and the wrench, which doesn't get you much, but Better than going back in. The rest of them, I think, don't have studs. I also don't know if I'd take any more stuff off, but we'll find out as we go. Oh, no room there. If I went this way, probably. Oh, come on. Sweet. They're all coming off pretty good. Of course, this, this car used to be a kind of a garage baby, so. Oh. So, first dilemma, there is a pulley in the way. Uh, is it also a 15? Hey. hey. Looks like we're taking that off. There's a, there's a bolt behind it. I'll show you that in a minute. There were a little, I'll show you the pulley I'm taking off. There's the tensioner pulley, and then there's just an idler next to it. Come on. Time today. How long does this have to be? Okay. Anyway. Yeah, that's plenty of thread engagement, I guess. Yeah, this pulley. That's kind of, is there a shaft that goes on? Yeah. Well, that ain't much of one, though. Sure. Well, might as well check that thing. Mm. Might need a new one of those. That's fine, though. All right. Can't say nothing. That one. That's why I took that off. 
Come on. You? Just guessing. I kind of am. Yep, that's what I wanted. You know, I've already bought the other water pump so you can kind of get to see where all the bolts are. Uh oh. Is that not a 15? I'm about to say that would be awful weird. Oh, come on. Thank you. Maybe. Can I get can I get back on it? Yeah, you're you're good. Now this one. Oh, you know. Pulling right towards that other. Oh, you're all stuck in there. Look at that. Pulling right near the other pulley. So if I yeah, if I slip off like that, it kinda hurts. Come on. Come on. How many Christmas? Is that all of them? Maybe. Looks like it. I just need a little extension. Uh to leave that top one in. Leave the top bolt in that way. Once I take all the other bolts out, it's just hanging by that top one. Instead of hanging by a bottom one or shoo. She's a long one. Maybe that's why there's a one hole in that water pump. Probably. Ugh. I fell over. Which way does this thing go? So it goes like this. Hold on, there's one, two, three. Yep, because it's the third bolt. There's our missing bolt. Okay. That answers that question. It's because one of the bolts is longer than, you know. All right. That's also the first water pump I've ever got. It's their less gold. Uh, well, wait a minute. that one's long, too. First one I've ever got with bolts in it, too. But it's looking like these might not. Might have to reuse the bolts. Which I, you know, I don't care. Uh, that one was finger loose. She's a little on the crunchy side. It's coming, but it's definitely on the crunchier side. All right, so is this the same length as that bolt? Yes. Is it the same size? Yes. All right. Well, that one was the same size. Oh, come on. Sometimes I like working on lowered stuff a little better. You got to try to climb up in it or lean over it. But if you have to work under a car, it's better to work under something like an SUV because then you don't have to lift it. So I guess depends what you're working on. Weed. I may even reuse those bolts, but because they have a, uh, which this doesn't really matter. Um, they have washers that actually spin on them. The new ones don't. I'll show you that. Might as well show you that. So, oh come on! So these ones got washers that spin. These ones are just the, you know, whatever those are called. I don't know. Anyway. Beautiful. Uh, should just be the top one. I I didn't figure it was going to fall off anyways. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like it's sagging. 
for a second I say that I'll probably drop it or I'm missing a bolt nope Yep, there's the bolt. <laughs> I forgot one. This what I said I didn't want to do. Try to loosen the bolt on the bottom when it's loose. Yeah. It'll be alright. If it comes off. Ever. Shoo! A lot of coin. And like I may have missed my book at that time. It's been dragging forever, so. Come on! Alright. Oh, don't tell me. Alright, anyway. May have to go at the bottom. Can it go at the bottom? Yes. So if you're wondering, it doesn't come out the top. It comes out there. Uh, those are the holes I was talking about. They sell like a tool that forks them but whatever which that's one thing it's that impeller is nicer but this one's like a plastic whatever it is what it is all right so what does it look like down there not too bad i see a bunch of crud and all that you know all the coolants at least green so yeah, you're still with us this time okay um i need to go get some stuff to clean that off i'm not going to show you that um scotch bright uh still wool gotta be careful with still wool it might get fibers in there something just to clean it off some carb cleaner but we'll get back to you after that's clean all right uh, well, are you with me? Yeah, you're with me. All right, so we got it all cleaned up, at least not the best I could. Uh, I got one of these little paint thing, detail, whatever, AutoZone, 2000 grit. You know, that was the easiest thing to get down in there for what I was doing anyway. Um, not perfect, but for what it is, it doesn't need to be any better. Um, storing it, it put it in here. Um, these ones are not paper gaskets. There, it's a O ring. I mean, it's not really an O, but you know. Anyway, so we're gonna get this put in there. And I'm just gonna take those out because I think they're gonna. I guess that one won't cause me problems because it won't come out. Sure. And we went this way. Yeah. Oh crap. That's a problem. Gotta bring it up from the bottom. Because yeah. Oop. I can't see. I need to see. I'm hung up on. Yeah, just lay it down in the junk. And then Okay. That was fun. Now did I get a bunch of crap on the ring? Nope. Okay. So. Let's see. Maybe I can get. If I have a. Are you going to stay there? Sweet. This. That's what I need. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Um, there you go. All right. Um, so now when you get all these bolts tightened, uh, I got the, you know, faster way. Um, I'm going to tighten them kind of like you would a tire. 
I don't know if you need to. Don't really care. That's what I'm doing. So. That's just how I'm going to do it. Whew, get right off there. Yep. Can't get to that one. That'll go on the bolt. There you go. Just all over. Sure. Yep. Much better. Oh, come on. Twice sometimes this thing doesn't work. Yeah, no. There's just not the room for it. Yep. You. Maybe. Perfect. Uh, that is all of them short of the one with the stud. So, which I need to get an actual wrench on. So, there we go. Maybe. Well, I should probably, you know, a little tighten my hand first. Yeah. Probably tighten that one by hand. So I guess a little further down there. Oh, come on. Now we do got to do the little. Well, is it even on tight? No, it's not. Oh, now I'm leaning on the other wrench. Nope. No room. Bash your fingers in the clamps. Nope. That one will just be the first one we tighten the crap out of. Ah, I quit leaning on it. You know, uh, there's just not a whole lot of room. Oh, there we go. Oh, I also missed the bolt. Can't see it right out there. Yep, get that thing back. Be better than. I'm gonna lean down there. Oh, come on. Perfect. All right. With that, now I got a pulley. Uh, that one? Yep. I will be replacing this later. It looks. Awful old. I think I did replace it at one point, but it, it's not gritty, but you can fill the bearings. If that makes sense. Yeah, it'll be in there placed. It's good enough for right now. Well, if the bolt will start, and that's that stupid long one. Sweet. I've just seen a lot of stuff come out of there. Don't know what that was. Don't really care. Alright. Uh probably put the belt on first. I gotta take that off. Where's my belt? There it is. You know. New belt. Now the question is, hey, this is one of my few cars. Looks like it has the diagram on the on the car. Um, so I might as well get you in here and look at that. In case for some reason it's not on your car. That's how it goes on. So, this, like I said. Now the Mustang might have it on it, but nothing else does. So, which way are we going? Okay. Uh, 
this way. That way. This way. Ow. That was my stomach. Maybe. Nope, it's falling behind the water pump. Oh. Gotta love new belts. Alright, so. Yeah, I remember it was behind there because it was hard to get out. Oh, come on. Maybe. Is it on everything? No, it's not. This. Okay, come on. Okay, anyway. We did it. Finally. Now we gotta get you on there. You bit. Yeah, I'm sure. Then it falls off the water pump. Does it fall off anything else? No. Like red. Sweet. That's on there ish. Obviously, it'll, you know, figure itself out. I gotta put this thing on. Surprised that's in that good a condition. Of course, like I said, I've already placed that. Also, I thought this fan's kind of funny. These two are way closer. Um, my best guess is wait. I don't see that. I'm guessing. Don't really care. Now, can we get it to start screwing on there? That's the thing. Come on, baby. Maybe. Yay. Sometimes I fight that. What I really fight is EDRs. Those things suck. Never bend them. You'll never get them back. Come on. All right. Now we're back to square one. Uh, you and you. Now we're going to find the hole again. Um, except for sure. You know, there's just I don't like fan clutches. There's just no room. I need that dot right there. I need it on the other side of the that fin. We need to cross our fingers that I can sure. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a pick. That didn't work last time. I got a different one. Probably not going to work. Except I didn't use it last time. Because it didn't work. Ah. Yo! Didn't I say something about this old specialty tool for this? Yeah. It probably works better. There's a way loose. Let's try to tighten that up. Can we? Would you? Can I have this back? Give me that back. And you? Maybe? 
Where are you? There you are. Maybe that pulley's smaller. Either the pulley's smaller or the hole's in a different spot. It's one of the two. Um, and it is pretty tight, but it's not tight to my liking. So I'm going to find what can I use? What could I use? Alright, I'm going to find something. Hold on. Alright, I just found a different Different screwdriver, you know, so I'm gonna actually go in there, but I got that tight now. Anyway, so next thing would be coolant. I need some coolant. I also need a reservoir. Um, it holds some, but it's leaking way up top here somewhere. Probably figure that out when I figure that out. It'll be all right. Put some in there and it'll find its own level, I guess. Um, I always buy concentrate. I don't know the actual price right now. It, uh, used to be from what I remember, it was like 14 for the 50, 50 or 17 for the concentrate, but the concentrate, you get two bottles. You just got to put water in it. Um, then I always keep two bottles so that I can do that. You know, because otherwise, what are you going to mix it in? I, mean, I guess you could dump the whole bottle in the car and then hope that there's enough room for water. Ah, uh, that was almost perfect. Not no more. Not like there's not a lot of, you know, coolant on the ground. Sure. All right. Uh, so we've got the uh, fan clutch on, water pump, everything's tightened up. Um, I put fluid in it. I also put fluid in this. Um, you know, we'll see if it starts disappearing again. I don't know. It could have been that, but eh, who knows. But while I was looking at all this, I found another issue. I might as well address. Looks like, you know. If a rat could be that small, I'd call it a rat's nest, but something's going on there. So we're going to try to get that out real quick. That, that can't be good for that radiator. That is a lot. Yeah, I was even holding out the radiator a little bit. Let's see if some water will get the rest of that out of there. Maybe. Hey, I spray this thing off a lot. You know, she likes to catch a lot of bugs. Uh, but I've never noticed that. So, you know, new things to pay attention to, I guess. Yeah, hopefully there's none between them. I wouldn't think so. That's probably just from smacking the grill and falling. I just don't know how I got, well, I guess a leaf. Yeah, whatever. Something got it caught up in there. But now that's out there. So, now I might as well see if it starts and doesn't spit everywhere. It's, it's pretty noticeable when it spits everywhere because you lean your head over and the uh, fan just smacks you in the face with a bunch of coolant. Yeah. I don't see it evacuating itself anywhere. But, you know. Alright, um, so that's the end of that one. This is the old, you know, junky water pump. Um, I'm not sure if it was shaft. It looked like it was coming out from behind the, the pulley. I'm not sure if it's the seal on the shaft or probably just this seal's completely flat gone. Uh, 
but we got the new one on there only shiny thing on this at this point uh, but i've got more projects coming with this as well like i said i've got the whole miata um if you can see down there in that egr tube on that header will it focus i don't know if you can i had to get closer let's see if we darken that oh there you, oh, oh you almost sent it there you go yeah you can see that egr tube right there is cracked real bad it's cracked all the way around actually uh it's been welded before but um i have bits and bobs for a, a uh, new exhaust i still need to get a catalytic converter but no big deal uh, but again you know thanks for hanging out with me thanks for liking and subscribing um any of you who haven't if you would like and subscribe we'll catch you on the next one